Yo, it's the Sauce Go here, back with another video, and today I'm about to tell you the best free phone app to use for CPNs. I made a cool 50 piece, and that was just in a few weeks. I'm stuck up on BNB, I'm racked up on BNB. So when you're just building the CPNs, you may not want to totally get a, a, a new phone for it or a real track phone for it yet. You may just want to get something like so you can get it started to get it going and so that's where i think the best app to use would be talk of tone talk of tone is a good app um you can download on the app store it all you need is an email to lock to sign up and they just send the code to the email so it's real easy you don't need like a phone number or anything like on google voice and it's free to download free to use just sign up with the email um now it will if, if you do want to receive codes this is the thing i like about it also too when building a CPN, like if you need an email, like, cause this, this is how like the process of building a CPN, you know, first you have to get the email. You first you get the name, the date of birth, everything you want to have, the number, but then you put, you have to get an email and then a phone number because you know, when you go to um, submit your public records, when you go to like do all the, um, the inquiry, like public, like when you do um, public records and pre-approvals, you feel me? Once you're doing all those, you're going to need an email, you're going to need a phone number. So the email, you can go ahead and go to Gmail. And there's a little trick too. If you choose Matt to manage my business, when you're creating the account of the Gmail, um, you can just go and you can even use your phone or whatever. Maybe just use um, incognito mode. It works like this because Gmail, they're going to see that same IP. You feel me? If you use an incognito mode, it's, it's different or a VPN. But if, if you're just using the same one, they're going to see that same IP. And so they're not going to, they're only going to let you make like a certain amount. And even with, if you change your IP on that new IP, you can only make a certain amount too, like one or two. After you try to make a third one on the same IP, it's just going to block you. Or it's also going to um, ask for a, a phone number to link with it. But it, you know, you don't want that to happen. So hopefully when you do it with the, um, with the manage my business, cause even sometimes with the manage my business, it can do it. But if you, it's, it's less to trigger it that way. So this is a little way to go around it because when you try to open a personal account, a lot of times you're going to want the phone number. So all you got to do is go to, to manage my business and you feel me just and do it in incognito mode is separate and they're not going to ask for a phone number. It'll be optional. And that's when you can go ahead and just make your, make your, um, email, you know what I'm saying? Make your Gmail, whatever name that you want it to be. And boom, that's how you get in really easily. Now, once you get the Gmail, you can go and make the talk of tone. Like I said, you just, use that email to sign up for the talk and they're going to send the code out to the email. So it makes it really easy. And then you go and choose a number and set up a number and you could also choose any area code you want. So you pick the first three and then they'll give you a random selection of numbers. So it's really easy. That's how you can get your phone and get your email right there for your CPN. This is just be your first number, your first phone to get, just to have something to get started. You feel me for now? Um, just so you can start your CPN, you know what I'm saying? Cause you're going to need some type of phone number. But you may not always want to go ahead and invest with the full, go get a track phone. You know, you could go pay 20, 30 bucks for a track phone and then pay 20, 30 bucks for the plan and to activate it. So that's how you could get it. And, and this is actually better. It's the real way you want to go when you like really want to build your CPM. Like if you want to really want to do it for the long term. But once again, that's cost money, you know what I'm saying? Stuff like that. So if you just want to set it up and get it going and there's a lot of things that you can do and I'm gonna let you know what you can get without even, with just a, a, a free text number. You know what I'm saying? Like you could open bank accounts cause, all right, so, I'm, so some, some bank accounts, some loans and like credit cards spots, they not, the VOIP number is not gonna fly for these loans and stuff like they, or some banks so like, they don't accept VOIP numbers. So you're gonna have to get a real number, you know what I'm saying? And VOIP stands for uh, Voice Over Internet Provider. So, you know, like these free apps that give you service. You feel me? So some of them don't mess with the VOIPs, but I'll tell you what you can get is you can get phones for show with just a random VOIP number. They're not worried about the number that you have. Um, a lot of store credit cards. Um, let me see what I know. I got personally like a Home Depot, Big Lots, Walmart, so Kohl's, so I know those, you feel me, you don't even, you, you can get a, I know those you can get approved for with the CP and you don't, you don't, you can have the VOIP number, it's cool. What else do you, let me see, a lot of, some bank accounts too. There's some bank accounts that you can get that they don't really, they're not tripping Chime, you can open up a Chime. And now another thing is, 
when you're building a CP too. Like some, sometimes I've been noticing it's kind of hard after the first day you're doing your public records for like an hour. Let's say you do at least 25 to 50 public records. By the way, I got a secret public records like link that it just has one. It's like one site that has like six different little applications. But these six applications are going to each push you out to like hundreds of applications and the different loans applications. So this just shoots your information everywhere. It's like a super public records link. I got a whole 200 public records links in my CPA creation course that I have for 100 and breaks down step by step how to find the number, how to do public records. But this is a secret little extra boost of public records link, which I dropped in my paid chat and it's 50 to join. Uh, click the link in my bio or click the link in the description to just join the free chat just so you can kind of see what's going on. And then the paid chat, you can DM me on Telegram to join for 50 a month. So yeah, when you're building these CPs, it's been getting harder. Like I've been hearing, I've been seeing actually that uh, it's not as easy on the first day to get into Credit Karma, get into Experium, these credit monitorings, you know what I'm saying? You gotta kinda wait a little bit and uh, it's just taking longer, it's being a, a little harder. You might have to do more public records, stuff like that. So like I said, I got 200 links, plus that super link that'll get you right. But you still may have to wait a day or two. But now this is the thing, so far, I'm gonna give y'all a, a, um, like another credit monitoring site that's free that you can use, you know what I'm saying? That's not Credit Karma or Experian because Credit Karma's definitely been on a lot of bullshit too. Like they're not posting the scores. Like I had I had added like two, three trade lines, none of them posted on Credit Karma. But if I go check another one, it's gonna be there. And I've even, we've even all like asked Credit Karma and tried to figure out what's going on. Me and all the people in my paid chat, you know, we've been trying to investigate. And so uh, one, of, one of my partners, they asked and they said that basically it's because his credit file is too thin. This is the answer they gave us. They said that his credit file was too, was too thin. So even though he has maybe a couple of uh, accounts, trade lines, primary accounts, it, it won't post. But you know what? Primary accounts are will are strong. They will post because it's your actual account and stuff like that. So that's a little tip. If you get a primary account first, it'll make it way easier for your AU trade lines to post. So, you know what I'm saying? But you can get the AU trade lines to post without it. Like I said, just credit karma it just takes a while to show. So go ahead and get you like a wallet hub or SoFi and or any other ones basically. But um, Experium and Credit Karma, they've been on a lot of BS and they've been uh, like, sometimes they'll hit you with the like extra verification, whether you gotta hit a send a scan, like a picture of it, uh, you, or you can email it, a copy of your driver's license, you feel me, back in front. But, and, and, and you know, tap into my um, paid chat too, you know what I'm saying, if you need those, but basically, yeah, that's what you that's what you might need, or sometimes too, I've seen Experian hit you with uh, Social Security Administration verification, so you gotta like, give them authorization to run that, to run that, you know what I'm saying, which I don't think it, it would work out for you, so most likely it's grits at that point, and you feel me, what you should do is just go try to go open up another credit credit monitoring, but it could be because your public records or your number is wrong and stuff like that. So tap in for the songs to make sure you do it right. But SoFi is a good one that you can get into pretty quickly. Um, it's free and for me, it's been easier. It's not too many problems going on. So SoFi, get your credit and monitorings for your CPs. They're easy. Now, another thing though, you will need to receive the code to these. Now, that's one thing that's new. Some of the like credit cards, you didn't have to receive a code. But just pay the little, that's the thing that's cool about Talk to Tone. You can pay four bucks to upgrade to the pro and you're gonna receive all the codes from now on. So now you can make your SoFi. You can also make a Chime because Chime needs a, needs a code too, a phone number that can receive a code. You need, uh, you could open bank accounts and all types of stuff. Unless they're really specific on the no VOIP numbers, you're good, you know what I'm saying? And the smaller banks will be good, you know what I'm saying? But you could, even some of the bigger banks, uh, Capital One, Wells, go hit them up. But uh, so that's pretty much that's pretty much it. That's all I wanted to tell y'all. Talk a tone, you know what I'm saying? Get you get you right so you can get into SoFi, and you can go ahead and uh, now you got a phone. Now another thing I will say is when it comes to credit cards and loans, certain companies they're not gonna they're not gonna fly with this. You know, like they no VOIP number. They just won't even allow it. They won't accept it, or they may just deny your application based off that loan. So when you actually are trying to build it for big stuff, bigger than just little phones, um, you probably can get cars with the VIP number. I don't think they really care about that. You can definitely get a house, a crib. You can um, 
get a lot of store credit cards like before I named. So just the loans and the credit cards is where you are probably gonna run into a problem. But if you really wanna build your CP to be like a real legitimate CP and you wanna use it as if it's yours or something, definitely go ahead and eventually just get a real phone number. Like you can get a track phone or even if you go and uh, you know get a T-Mobile plan or whatever, sign up for them. You can use that number too and have that be, you know, whatever you want to do. But you want to eventually, if you really want to build it up and make it like a real solid profile, you want to um, get an actual real phone number. But a lot of times you don't need that, you know what I'm saying? Save the money, get the free number. If you need the code, pay the little four extra bucks to get the code, four dollars a month. You can't beat that. But yeah, all right, I'm going to keep dropping some more sauce. So just like and subscribe. And uh, stay tuned in, stay tapped in, and, and hit me on uh, Telegram, join my free Telegram for more sauce, and just hit me and tap in if you need to uh, book a call, if you, if you uh, want to join my page chat, if you need any of my courses, just tap in. I also have a website, too, where you can buy it. But yeah, sauce go.